here we have a nice bow back Windsor chair with a brace on the back. This chair was made in Rhode Island. 1780 to 1800 and you can always tell Rhode Island chairs of this period because of those turnings. Very unique to Rhode Island. And you can see the stretcher in the middle. These were side chairs. They were put uh, at the side of a table, people ate. And of course, if you really look close, if I get down here, you can see. The wear where people put their feet on the closest and the farthest stretcher. You can see the it's not quite round like that one because they wrap their leg around the chair leg and they put their foot there. Same with the other one. Kind of neat the wear on these old chairs. Now this was originally painted uh, mustard and then it was painted white and then blue and of course now it's just um, varnish and many of these chairs had these brace backs to help with a little bit of support that's all one piece of wood that back there that little piece sticking out along with the seat is one piece of wood you can see where the spindles come through Seat is pine, typical Rhode Island, and the rail and the spindles are hickory, and the legs and the stretchers are maple. So a nice early chair, side chair everybody ate alongside of the table and talked and You can see the turnings, very nice, beautiful turnings on this chair. Maybe I'll come on this side here and see if you could see the wear where they put their feet. So, nice chair. I enjoy it. It's very, very comfortable. These old uh, 18th century chairs, you can see the pummel right there the rain gutter. Anything inside the rain gutter was finished. Outside the rain gutter was not quite as finished. And then your spindles, all hand carved spindles. Might have been started on a lathe, but they're way too small. A lathe would spin and would break those. So you have to finish them by hand. So a nice little chair from Rhode Island. I hope you enjoyed.